Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Zoo versus Mendoza fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do indeed like the video. And let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Zoo is 23 and 0 with 17 KOs, and Mendoza is 22 and 2 with 16 KOs. This fight is for the WBO World Super Welterweight title. Zoo's last fight was a win by a uh, no, by a KO in round one versus Acampo. And Mendoza's last fight was a win via KO in round 7 versus Vun Fundora. This fight is in Zoo's home country of Australia. Mendoza's losses have come versus Ramos Jr. in 2021 and Gomez in 2019. And to speak more about what I've just said there, of course this now being for a world title, it's Zoo being given this world title now due to the fact that Charlo fought Canelo, I mean, it was more than deserved, so you can't, I suppose, giving is the wrong word, but it is the right word at the same time. But it's more than deserved, and it's very much nice to see him now fighting for a title and being able to put on his first defence, and I suppose also in the process getting it for the first time. I don't know what his thoughts process is behind it, if he thinks he is the champion yet, or if he thinks he still has to fight one more to get it. I don't know, but either way last time out very good stoppage versus campo dominant victory he seemed kind of more frustrated that other big fights weren't happening and that he kind of had to fight a campo or just wanted it to do it to stay more active and boost his self even more and boost his platform even more and he did that very well and it was a very good stoppage from him mendoza's last fight it was a stoppage which nobody really expected realistically i think everybody kind of knew that he was losing the fight but he proved his explosiveness and his will and his power that he does possess and his countering ability as well and the fact that he did just capitalize on one mistake that Fundora made and to be fair it was quite a big mistake it was quite a sloppy shot that he threw and Mendoza managed to capitalize very well and uh, managed to get a stoppage in emphatic fashion really and so now he's got this shot uh, he deserves as well in my opinion from being it from winning that last fight and I think this fight is going to be a great fight. I think there's a couple of really good fights this weekend. I'll be doing a prediction for another huge fight this weekend as well. And then there's also the YouTube boxing stuff as well. So it is quite a good weekend for boxing. But of course, it's being in Zoo's home country. Yet again, fighting there. And yet again, going to have all the pressure of being the home fighter. But I'm sure he's more than used to that now. And I mean, Mendoza not lost for for the last three fights now i think he's got three stoppage in is in in the last three fights so he's doing very well for himself at the moment let's speak more about the fighters so zoo is positives he's got great body work he uses that very well and to be fair he hasn't even really needed to use that in the last couple of fights but he does definitely have that in his artillery he of course has all the momentum going his way he's got great shot selection as well he finds angles very well he'll stalk you down he's patient accurate makes adjustments during the fight necessary adjustments where when needed he's got calculated pressure he controls the tempo his speed seems to be improving with every fight and seems to be showing more and more pace and speed and he's becoming more and more electric with every fight he faints very well as well he's the stronger fighter in my opinion he's got better stamina in my opinion as well out of the two and i mean he's a very good fighter i really enjoy watching him fight i think He's, I mean, he is the kind of leading face of Australian boxing. Of course, there's other huge fighters like Obataya, but he's got that name, that zoo name, and he's he is the big guy in Australia at the moment. I really like to see it. And of course, he's an amazing fighter as well, and he backs that up. And the fact that he is so calculated, so smart, and even when he sometimes goes in with a game plan which might not work, which there's been a couple of fights where he's been dropped and maybe not started the best, he's managed to make them necessary adjustments come back and looked even better and then proved some of his best fighting ability and I think there's only certain few fighters that can do that and it shows your best of ability if you can do that and yeah it's impressive and the fact that he is still improving with every fight is just dangerous to see really because he's at such a high level already where can he get to and of course every, with every fight he's proven that he can just get even better and better and the fact that he does stalk you down and he doesn't just walk on to punches doing that. He'll stalk you down with them feints, with that calculated pressure, like I said. It's something which is not very rare. Well, it's quite rare to see because you do just sometimes walk on to punches if you're going to try to stalk your opponents down. And you see a lot of fighters do that. But the fact that he takes them necessary 
adjustments and he can catch you in the side of the, he can catch you in the corner of the ring and keep you there it's it's very impressive to see and he's not just doing it from a barrage of punches as well he's doing it from them necessary feints and picking the shots when necessary but then throwing the barrages when necessary as well and I don't feel like he always gets the most credit for that but it's very impressive and I suppose the negatives about him sometimes a little bit too cautious at times he can be hit and he can be countered as well he's not got crazily good defensive ability it's not amazingly good but I think it's just his attacking ability is so good as well and the fact that he can he doesn't any time so well it makes it hard to then respond to something I suppose but you can it's still open his own he does get hit at times his chin has been hurt in times as well he of course has the immense pressure on him but like I said I feel like he's used to that now he can sometimes overcommit on his punches as well he's accurate but sometimes can overcommit can sometimes be a bit too overconfident as well and with the more momentum and the more stoppages going his way of course that's a good thing but it's going to boost confidence and that's not a bad thing but sometimes he can be and he's shown he can be a little bit overconfident at times but then he gets humbled if something bad happens and then like I said he makes some adjustments and his head has to be off the line as well his head movement isn't always amazing um, but that's something which I feel like he definitely has to be using his one because like I said Mendoza does have very good counters and I don't think inside he's the, as good at fighting sometimes he will w want to be inside and I just don't feel like that's the best I feel like when sometimes he goes on the outside a bit more or goes to the mid-range and picks his shots that's where I feel like he he looks better at times in my opinion and there's been fights where he's done that especially more recent as well and I think it was the Tony Harrison fight that he did that a bit more and it was nice to see uh, but let's speak about Mendoza of course he's explosive like I mentioned he's tough to pin down he's crafty he's always kind of moving around He's a fast starter, he's got will and desire, he's got an underdog mindset, I'm sure he does. He's got a good chin, he wants to be on the inside and kind of be in a war and drag you into a war. He hits any openings that he sees, even if they aren't really openings, he'll still go and just throw at every angle from, every angle possible I suppose, that's the right way of putting it, and that can be hard to defend against. And he can flip momentum, change momentum. Like I said, he doesn't really mind if he's losing. I mean, he was losing that last fight versus Fandora, but I feel like in the back of his mind, he still knew that there was still more to give and he was just waiting for that opportunity and he capitalised on it very well. He can tie you up as well. I'm sure he could frustrate Zoo here if he wanted to. And if he is making it on the inside, I imagine to get to the inside and putting on his forward pressure as well, then that could make it for a tough night for Zoo. He pivots well. He counters well, like I said. And he is aggressive in his own nature as well. And so I suppose that's where his explosivity will come from at times as well. His negatives, he can be outboxed. And there's been fights where he has been outboxed. And Ramos Jr. kind of proved that in that his fight a bit. And Zoom, I feel like, does have the better technical boxing ability to outbox him if he would get the chance to. But it's just getting a chance to, of course. He does get hit as well. I mean, when you're inside wanting a war, you're going to get hit. It's kind of inevitable, really. He's not really got much of a defense. Like his defensive movement ain't great. He's got, he's got an all right guard. I mean, sometimes he drops his hands and gets caught when he's throwing his own shots as well. So it's not amazing. And his head movement isn't really anything crazy. And he does duck his head down in punches as well. It means he's open to uppercuts and shots like that as well. So it's not amazing defensive really. He is open to the body and doesn't seem to like body shots against Ramos he took some body shots which it seemed like he didn't really like and I feel like that's Zoo's something which Zoo's definitely going to be able to capitalise on and definitely going to do well if he does and he does get tired a bit later on I think I, don't, I mean against Ramos again going back to that fight he did look like he was getting tired a bit later in the later on in the fight and I feel like Zoo has that more athletic work rate and like I said stamina to be able to go better and fight better in the later rounds but I suppose Mendoza's style of just throwing everywhere is something which is going to tie you out naturally. Zoo is the favourite for this fight and I think that Zoo will win via TKO in round 10. I think it's going to make a huge statement for him to stop Mendoza. I think he will in the later rounds when he's tiring out a bit more and he's took some big body punches. I don't think it'll be a, an emphatic KO but I think it will be that body work and just that calculated pressure would just be too much for him and I mean of course if Mendoza can make it difficult early on then there's no kind of bad possibility I suppose of him not being able to stop 
Zoo Mendoza early on, but I feel like if he can weather that early storm Zoo, which I feel like he can and he is a little bit used to doing now, he can use that and if he does get caught, make his necessary adjustments and then be able to come back and then be able to work what he knows is going to work well and then be able to get the victory and use his own power in his own right to be able to get the stoppage and like I said, it'll make a big statement if he is to stop Mendoza. Where would he go on to fight next? It'd be interesting. Charlo has just been uh, had a mandatory, I believe, called by the IBF of uh, Muratar, uh, Murat Zaliev. Uh, so I suppose he could fight a Red M. I don't feel like Charlo's going to end up fighting Muratar Zaliev. Apologies for my pronunciation. I don't feel like he's going to end up fighting him. So that could be a fight that could be made. Uh, or Lubin. Lubin's coming off that big win versus Ramos as well. And quite highly ranked. So I'm sure he could get another world title shot. But I feel like there's fights there. It's just which one does Zoo feel like deserves that fight now. And I feel like he's in the more driving seat now. Because he's had to go through all them people to get to where he is now. And now I feel like he deserves to be able to pick his opponents a bit better. Do I think he'll fight Charlo anytime soon? doubt it really but i suppose you never know uh, but yeah that is it for today's video hope you did enjoy like if you did need like this subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching